Hi there, welcome back to the Wallace Family Homestead. I'm Amanda. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make elderberry syrup. Elderberry syrup is used, um, it's a food medicine. It's used to boost your immune system, which is amazing, especially this time of year when it's starting to get cold and everybody kind of gets a little sick from time to time. It has really amazing flavor and a lot of incredible nutrients to help boost your immune system through this season. It has cinnamon, ginger, and raw honey, all of which have been shown to have anti-cancer, antiviral, and um, anti-inflammatory properties. So let's get started. So we're gonna start with six cups of water, and I have already measured out a little bit of my water. I'm making a big batch of this, so you could cut this recipe in half. And you're gonna put your water in a big pot because this is going to boil with the berries for quite a while. And for the six cups of water, I'm actually going to do two cups of the elderberries. I'm using dried elderberries, so if you're using fresh elderberries, your ratio will be a little bit different. Also, while it's boiling, I am going to add in um, two cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sticks are, like I said, oops, I guess one jumped in there for me. Cinnamon sticks are anti-inflammatory and they have a lot of medicinal benefits and they also just add a really great flavor to your elderberry syrup. Next, I'm going to add, um, for this size pot, probably a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of fresh ginger. You could definitely use dried ground ginger for this. You can also add things in here like dried clove. That would be a really great flavor. I know a lot of people add that. I am using raw unfiltered honey for this recipe because it has a lot of medicinal benefits of its own. Um, so I'm going to be adding my honey at the very end after we have simmered the elderberries for about 45 minutes. Once the, at that point it's elderberry tea. So once your elderberry tea has cooled, then you will add your honey to to not cook out the medicinal benefits of the, the raw honey. And make sure if you're giving this to your children that you don't give this to babies under the age of one because of the honey in it. Okay, so right now we have our elderberries, our cinnamon sticks, and our fresh ginger grated into the pot and we are going to let this simmer for about about 45 minutes. It'll boil and then you can bring it down a little bit and you will see the volume reduce significantly and then we'll take it out and we'll strain the berries and then we will add our honey. That's when you'll want to pull it off of the stove and let it let it cool um, a little bit so it's cool enough to handle and then we will be straining it through a mesh strainer. Okay, so once your elderberries have simmered and the liquid has reduced by about half, take your berries and strain them into a mesh strainer. I secondarily um, wrang them out in a, in a piece of cheesecloth as well, just to get every drop of 
goodness that I could from that very pulp. You could also run it through your food processor or your um, juicer if you have one. So now we are going to add two cups of raw unfiltered honey. And this kind of honey has its own um, really amazing benefits when it's raw. So wait until your liquid has cooled enough that you're able to touch it. If you can stick your finger in it, then it's cool enough that it's not going to cook the honey, but it'll be warm enough to, to melt and kind of help incorporate the honey. a silicone spoon or spatula, you can scrape every drop of honey right out of there. And then we're just going to stir it until that's all dissolved. It smells so good. I did end up adding the clove after I mentioned it. I remembered that I actually did have some ground clove in my pantry um, and I found it. So I went and put the clove in there and it smells so amazing. I think it reminds me of like, I don't know, like a mulled cider or something to do with Christmas morning, but it is really amazing. So just keep stirring until you can't feel the honey at the bottom of your pan anymore. Are. Oh yeah, this is absolutely perfect. Normally I'd add ground cinnamon, but this time I added the cinnamon stick, so I wasn't sure how that was going to go. But it tastes amazing. That is such a lovely flavor. This is just a fun fact. You can actually steep like a tablespoon of elderberries in hot water and drink it as tea as well. And of course, you know, add cinnamon and honey. And you kind of get an extra little boost of immune support. Okay, so now when that's all mixed in, you are going to get your mason jar funnel and put it into a glass jar for storage. When I bought my, my mason jar funnel, it actually came with this cute little mesh strainer. So I'm going to use that now, uh, just so that any missed little bits of pulp will get caught in straining now. So carefully. have it. It's honestly that simple to make your own elderberry syrup and it's so much cheaper to make it yourself. It can be incredibly expensive at the market. You can find it for like $15 for eight ounces. It's outrageously overpriced. Plus when you buy it at the market a lot of times it has added ingredients that aren't necessarily the best for you. It's always best to make it yourself if you can. I bought my elderberries dried from Amazon from Star West Botanicals and I will link that below. I also went ahead and made a cute little jar that I'm going to gift to my mom and my dad and probably my sister. I'll probably give her some as well. And so that's an awesome thing to do with this as well. Just a really thoughtful little gift. My favorite thing about this is that it's food. You're not going to overdose. Now you should always ask your doctor before starting a regimen of something, but the way you consume this is to take um, a teaspoon to a tablespoon every day. If you start getting sick, 
you could take a little more, maybe a teaspoon three times a day. And same for your kids, they're not going to overdose on this, it's just food, food is medicine and that's amazing and I love that. So do your research, make sure that this is safe for you and your family. And if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for joining us today. Stay humble, be kind, and God bless.